Well, 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 well. It's been a long time. Um, I haven't been in a lot of driving. But it's been busy. But um, in the last few weeks, I have been getting out in this. Uh, lots. Good few hundred miles. And uh, NCT. Had the NCT car test um, last week, the week before and uh, same crowd I had it before and uh, they found that it was the um, the only thing it failed on was the, the brake pipes like the car had only done a couple hundred miles before why hadn't they seen that before? <laughs> he said oh they've been like that since new probably I was like well when did you pick it up the last time? I would have fixed them then otherwise everything was great uh, where we are, we're down in Greystones here we're at a 22 kilowatt charger and uh, there it is, there's a bit of, now ignore that, ignore that, uh, well that's the only thing that really works, it shows you the um, charge there, so, but 380, that's the charge point here, all oh, working lovely, energy consumed, 3.3, is that me? No, that's, that's them, so charge, I'm on charge B, there you go, 279 watt hours so far. So, uh, yeah, just drives like a dream still. Hope caps off, hence NCT. Wheels are still manky, need to address that. Um, other things is, yeah, this has been here for a long time. This key really annoys me, but it doesn't look like parked next to a hedge, so I don't notice it. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. Since the last time, I can't remember if I showed the last time, I tidied up the food a little bit. So now it's a bit more accessible. I can get the charger there through a port if I want. I don't need to open it up to uh, do some diagnostics. But uh, I've had enough charge here, so I'm going to disconnect. We're going to go try another charge after this, so I'm going to swipe to stop. Move charge connector, stop charging. Perfect. So that was ESP. I'm going to go down and try a Easy go next. Rat little. This is gonna be a five minute splash and dance. Just see if this works. Cause it's gotta be somewhere in five minutes. About ten minutes. So this is a easy go. Okay. Come on. Charge. I have inserted charge. Okay, right. Charging. Start charge. There we go. Charging power. Yes, it's to ramp up. It's starting charge. Thinking about it still. I find it's always very hard to listen to what's going on in um, a supermarket car park. So much noise going on. Oh, here we go. Still thinking about it. Peter says no. It says it's not pulling anything. Yeah. 
to just be saying charging, charging. We're gonna stop it. Confirm. Stop it. Yeah. That's it. So didn't seem to work. Um I'll try again. It's just there was a, a lady in a Mazda whatever they're calling their EV pulled up. Oh, it's a hybrid I think it was. It's supposed to be a plug-in hybrid. She was like it didn't have it had the CCS kind of port but the uh, DC was blanked out. She was like, I can't do anything. I need to have AC. So like, okay, so I don't want you doing a test, so it's me done. Um, it's funny, it didn't crap out or anything. It just sat there saying charging, but not giving me any information of what it was doing. So probably a bit of comms issue. Plugging away at our estimated SOC by oh, yeah. 372 volts, which is approximately 60%. Um, real lame thing is um, trying to get an accurate representation of. Back for some uh, evening charging while child number two has a bit of music class up the road. So uh, I thought let's put in some 22 kilowatts or whatever this thing is possible of. Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you that. I can't show you how much is going in. Um, all I can say is I've been 11 minutes. 
What did I put in? Come on, come on. I'm charging. We got 650 in the last eight minutes. No. It's there for another few minutes and then I'll shoot off again. Um, while I'm here, um, I want to share with you something uh, that I got in the post the other day. And it is something that, my God, if I would have had this back when I started out on this escapade, it would have sped things up, had my eyes wide open to what I was getting myself into, and just been like, it's a massive help and uh, guide. And it is this. What this is, is what hasn't existed until, you know, very recently. So this is a complete deep dive into exactly how you can build your own DIY EV. It's written by, so I would have mentioned Johannes Sooner in the past, part of the double act, himself and Damien McGuire, uh, big contributors to the Open Inverter Forum. In fact, Johannes started the Open Inverter Forum. So he's one of the, the main authors of this including Dr. Udo Kessler and Philip Schuster. Apologies if I mash those names. Um, Philip is uh, one who actually converted a GT86 and he's got the skills and he did an incredible job in this GT86 which had a blown motor and uh, Dr. Udo is the guy who took on my second favorite event or estate that's out there to the 850 and if I probably hadn't done this it probably would have been an 850 the Volvo 850 because I just love them the flying brick phenomenal this book is just it's got everything it's got you really if you want to jump into doing a uh, DIY EV you need to get yourself this it planning your project componentry best practice goes through health and safety it goes like eyes open to what you want to do when getting into this uh, fabrication the best components to use reusing OE components which have had like I've said millions billions spent on them by OEMs it just it's really detailed fantastically laid out photographs all that and um, yeah it's um, I've forgotten how much it is but I'm gonna put the price right here um you can order it a uh, soft copy or you can the hard copy like this um and i can absolutely i i can't um i can't um you know big it up enough it's just so well done i mean if i had this at the beginning and uh, no like i know like a lot of other people are getting on the, in this journey um you need all the help you can get the likes of the inverter open inverter form is great there's a lot of detail in that but trying to distill it down and find the the relevant information that you need it's basically what this has done it's taken all the best bits and put it into this and just you know yeah it's incredible really really good highly recommend it i'll put a link in the description where it is, where you can find that and how much it is i like to get this copy because i just like to have like this like manuals, I like to have it, all this. And look, they put a note section at the back so you can do it with scribbles or your curse words. Um, yeah, so interested by that. Outside of that, my job jobs list for this is, um, yeah, like I mentioned, heater. Um, I'm going to redesign the high voltage junction box at the moment because um, DC DC doesn't come on when you're charging. Uh, so I know it's only running the pump but leave it long enough and you will run that battery down um, and yeah getting into the uh, into the can side of things and eventually putting a zombie verter in here so it can start programming in a whole load of the stuff and I can have the web interface on here as well give myself a regen regen would be nice you can't do that in this gen 1 board um, but that's uh, that's all in the winter project kind of thing I'm getting my head back into this thing really absolutely enjoying driving this thing it's just so good 
to and from work around the place dropping the kids off to do bits and bobs um, just loving it and speaking of kids I have to sign off now and uh, pick someone up for their throwing uh, instruments at me they can't throw a piano it's very difficult okay so till next time uh, I won't leave it this long again I probably will do another update in the next couple of months so uh, yeah bye bye